Assalamu alaikum dear students now here is another english lesson for the cambridge 2 students now today we are going to do reading paper and uh, as you people already know that reading paper in uh, has 50 marks altogether and today we are going to practice reading for meaning and reading for meaning in the reading paper carries 25 marks similarly reading for ideas carries <clears throat> 25 marks now this reading for meaning uh, question for this reason we are going to practice practice passage number 16 from gce book now let's have a look at the lesson objectives by the end of the lesson today you people will be able to read the text with understanding you'll be able to answer all the related questions and you will be able to write down the contextual meanings of the given words and phrases the details of the question uh, let me give you a brief introduction about the story of the passage this uh, passage is about a young fisherman called tucky as the name of the passage indicates and we see that he's a very experienced and a very skilled fisherman and um, he's there with the, his friend for the sea fishing at the night time and we see that when you will read the passage you will see and you will understand that um, uh, his, about his encounter with the dangerous animals at the sea and uh, the way he is going to hunt the wild octopus and in a similar way he, how he is going to hunt the scorpion fish mm, so the, this is a very interesting passage for all of you to read and to enjoy and then to understand the details of the question which are given instructions for today's lesson are that you're going to read the passage individually and you're going to take a pencil in your hand and you'll be underlining all the difficult word, words and phrases and then you'll be reading it individually and you'll enjoy all the details given in the passage and then after having read the passage you're going to move on to the questions now as far as reading for meaning is concerned there are two types of questions as we have in the CIEs uh, explicit questions and the implicit questions now uh, my dear students that explicit questions are the questions um, which are direct questions and maybe you can have direct answers from the passage and sometimes maybe you can copy down the answers from the passage so these are called as explicit questions and the other category uh, is the Im implicit questions now in the implicit questions the uh, direct meaning is not conveyed in the question uh, they're inferential questions and you have to dig out the answers yourself and mostly it's written in the question that answer in your own words so these are own word answers and implicit questions are more as compared to the they have the uh, more weightage as compared to the explicit questions and uh, they are little difficult to attempt as well as compared to the explicit questions because you have to give the answers in your own words and you have to dig out the answer they're not directly there in the passage so you have to understand these two categories of the questions as far as reading for meaning is concerned and when you will uh, attempt the questions in the exercise they have given you they have written there that these are the explicit questions and these are the explicit questions and you have to attempt them accordingly and then uh, contextual meanings are also given there and you're going to guess the meanings of the words and then you will be uh, thinking of a synonym of the word and then you're going to put that guessed word or the synonym in the line from where it is given and then you're going to read the line if the text is not changed if the meaning of the text is not changed it means that your uh, word which you thought or your guess is correct now i think uh, now i think that the instructions for the lesson they are quite clear and now you move on to the uh, to the lesson and you start off with the reading and then the questions and then you move on to the assignment thank you so much